All right. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? A little bit of time. Think about this. Uh, I was a little heated at first because um, I really wanted Tremaine Edmonds. Actually, really, everything kind of went south when Roquan went eight to the Bears. Um, but <coughs> we took uh, offensive tackle from UCLA, Colton Miller. And it is a pick that, you know, to be honest, I haven't even been on looking at what people have been saying. Um, I've just been trying to trying to mull it over in my head and see, like, what I think about it. Cool down a little bit because it's not where I wanted the Raiders to go. It's not the position I felt we needed to address the most. However, it is exactly what I thought we were going to do um, at the end there. Uh, I even, you know, I went to college in Arizona. I texted my buddy Micah, who's a big Cardinals fan, right at 10. And I said, you want to trade? <laughs> and then it's, they said that the Raiders and the Cardinals had traded. So I called it. And then hearing that we were really interested in McGlinchey and the Niners grabbed him at, at 9. I just had a feeling it was going to be Colton Miller at that point. Um, I don't know too much about Colton Miller. Uh, let me let me before I go anything go into this. I want to say I am extremely okay with this pick. Um, not my favorite, not a sexy pick, not a flashy pick, but it is a pick that I think could pay dividends for the entirety of Derek Carr's career. Um, it's not what we wanted. I'm really, really, really really tired of not having a young elite middle linebacker to be honest with you like i'm really sick of that i'm really sick of not drafting linebackers early and i think that there's a major drop off between the linebackers still on the board and the four that went off in this um, and so i my number one linebacker choice right now is navarro bowman I think he needs to be called up and he needs to be brought back on the team. I think we made our decision, uh, decision to be able to run the ball, decision to be able to throw the ball and protect our quarterback with Colton Miller. Now, the little bit of stuff I have done about Colton Miller, the, the research I've done, because I did not think up until earlier today that we would draft him because I figured he would go earlier than we would take a lineman um, he's big, like really big, like really, really big, like, uh, Jared Valdir big, bigger maybe, um, or at least he's tall like that. I can tell you, I coached a kid that was that big, uh, and it is, even if your form's not great and whatever else, it is easy to be successful when you're that big. Um, and he's got really good feet, which is something that's not common to be that tall, that big, and have really good feet. So, um, you know, I was listening to Vach Lombardi talk about him, and he listed all these things that is why Colton Miller is horrible. And he lifted things that show why Colton Miller could be absolutely elite. So I'm choosing to focus on glass half full there. I'm choosing to focus on, we put him at right tackle, get him used to the NFL, then he replaces Donald Penn at left tackle eventually when we move on. I, so I'm okay with this pick. Um, we need to draft Isaiah Oliver if he is on the board tomorrow. Have to. He's still there. I thought he would be gone in the first. He's still there. He needs to be the focus. And he might just fall to us because I don't think he will. I think the Colts will end up taking him. But, like, there's still players on the board like Harold Landry and Will Hernandez and uh, a couple other guys, Darius Geis. So I really feel like if he 
makes his way, and he's there when we pick at nine. I think we pick nine tomorrow. He needs to be our guy. Kid is special. Oh, sorry. Tired, it's been a long day. Kid is special. That needs to be where we go. Um, I love that we traded down. We grabbed a fifth and a third, and then we traded that third uh, from Martavis Bryant, which I think is dirty. I'm really excited about that. Uh, as long as he can keep his act together, um, then, then it'll be a good pick. But he needs to do that. He needs to keep his act together. He can't come in and be a locker room cancer. So, yeah, I'm okay with Colton Miller. Not my favorite. Don't love it. Don't. It's not flashy. But it's like the kind of thing where he's a project and Gruden can, Gruden can groom him. And he could be a stud in this league for a long time. Or he could fizzle out and be horrible. Uh, but I'm choosing to go with the first one. Uh, be a stud, help, you know. My 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 dad is a Chiefs fan, and I was texting him about it, and he said something that was really true. He said, "You guys aren't going anywhere if Carr has a broken back," and he's not wrong. So we need to be able to protect Carr, and our right tackle situation has been abysmal for a few years, and bringing him in. Instantly, I feel like upgrades our right tackle position with the holes, even the, the holes he has. I think he's better than Marshall Newhouse and whoever else we have had rotating there. I think I like David Sharp, <sighs> but I think Colton Miller is a step up. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Uh, I'm hoping it's defense, defense, defense. I, I do want to take a running back. I want to take Royce Freeman, like I said. Um, or like if Darius Geis is there um, and Isaiah Oliver is off the board, uh, let's take Geis. But I want to see defense, defense, defense. Like we, ha we have to address this defense. I'm so sick of it not being... not being the priority because our defense was the problem. It has been the problem when we've got two players. We have more than two players, but like we've got, we've got two players and uh, <coughs> sorry, neither of those two players are linebackers. So uh, I'm thinking I'd like to see Isaiah Oliver and then maybe Josie Jewell in the third. I don't know. Malik Jefferson's still there. I like Jerome Baker too. I had him mocked. He's fast. Um, so one of those guys maybe. But this is exactly what happened last year where I was like, Reuben Foster, Reuben Foster, Reuben Foster. And then I was like, oh, not Reuben Foster. Um, let's, and then I started going for a guy and it went down the list until like towards the end of my list of players I wanted because Jared Davis was gone and who didn't take Zach Cunningham and all these guys started going off the board and we're not addressing this position of need. And it just keeps dropping. And finally I'm like, ah, oh, Markel Lee, let's take Markel Lee. And we took Markel Lee and I was stoked about it because it's like the only linebacker I knew. And he played okay, but I just, I don't want to do that again this year. I want, let's address it early. So next tier, Malik Jefferson, Jerome Baker. Sorry, I'm really tired. It's been a long, long day. Um, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, we've got two picks tomorrow. And then we've got something like eight or nine picks the next day. So that'll be helpful. Three, three fifths and four sixths. Seven players in the fifth and the sixth. Get some depth. Some guys to come in and compete. So I think it should be good. Um, but yeah, I'm getting behind this Colton Miller pick. Might take me a few days, do some research, watch some film, uh, come up with my own, with my own opinion on it. Because, um, again, he's not somebody I really scouted very heavily. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. I know a lot of Raider fans are probably really pissed about it. Um, you know, I'm not thrilled with it. I don't love it. I don't hate it either. I think that it addresses a big need. 
Um, not one that I wanted to focus on right yet, but it does. So let me know what you think. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you don't, go ahead and dislike it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, day two tomorrow, rounds two and three. Isaiah Oliver, Isaiah Oliver, Isaiah Oliver, Isaiah Oliver, Isaiah Oliver. That's who I want, Isaiah Oliver. All right. Um, yeah. Just win, baby.